am a theater artist, which for me means that I do everything um, regarding a piece that I want to put up. So I write, I direct, I do dramaturgy for people who are um, uh, come to me with a piece and an idea. So I, I help a lot of people with their um, with their work, and I also work for um, a nonprofit. So I write grants and I run an office and I order supplies and. Agave is important to me because um, a lot, like a lot of books that I read, ideas and certain things kind of just drop on you and, and kind of find you. Um, so I've written other things where an idea will just spark and I, it will come out and, and you know, it could be a painting, it could be a song, it could be a poem. Um, and the idea kind of just gets fulfilled and this idea of um, examining the ins and outs of possession and madness and um, how it impacts a family has been something that's really just sat with me for a really long time. I think this festival is such a fantastic idea. Um, I think what brought me back was when I first moved uh, back to Toronto after my undergrad, um, what was happening here was uh, the African Canadian Playwrights Festival, which was started by Janet Sears. And um, I, I just remember that is where I met most of the people I know in theater, especially in black theater. That's where um, this just international, this yeah, international essentially gathering happened. And um, the, the festival that Janet put together was also an academic, best, um, I guess, conference you could call it. There were uh, panel sessions, and I, I remember being asked to uh, record those sessions, so I was uh, archiving stuff for them as well. and. Um, it was just this this um, feeling and this kind of check-in that, hey, you're not doing this by yourself. Um, when you think about Toronto, there's a, a very small handful, I won't even call it a handful, like half a handful of companies working very hard, um, and to quote uh, a certain artistic director, punching above their weight quite often, um, trying, to, trying to just get this work out, and um, it's just absolutely welcoming and lovely to have another venue. It's important to give space to black theater and it's important to celebrate black theater. Not only to celebrate our voices, not only to um, acknowledge our stories, but that there um, tends to be, and this is, what, this is my own personal um, experience and point of view, I will say, um, but there tends, tends to be a predominant aesthetic. Not necessarily, um, not necessarily a racialized aesthetic, but it can be, but a predominant aesthetic in theater, the, kind of, the kinds of theater that gets made, um, the kinds of uh, art that people want to see, and it's dominated by a really specific worldview. And any time that um, other groups that are on the fringe a little bit kind of get co-opted by that, um, you, just lose, you just lose richness, you lose texture, you lose, you lose um, alternate voices, you lose confrontation, you lose duality in a culture. So um, I, I just feel like any other voices outside of the mainstream are always, always welcome. 16K is building black theater.